Good afternoon. This is Dr. Z. We will start really reading and writing uh, today and tomorrow for the next six weeks. So it's really important that we start rightly. Uh, some of uh, the writings that I saw uh, because many of you do texting, uh, you don't consider uh, using capitals. Uh, a lot of times you may use a number for the word. Okay, now you are doing what we call professional writing, academic writing, or business writing. So you have to begin to do it differently than you do when you just... Uh, doing informal writing. Uh, I have here uh, some rules of capitalization. I think it's important for all of us, including myself. Um, as it says here, some people, they tell you that there are far more than just 10 rules of capitalization, cap capitalization in English. And with everything else that you have to remember, it's probably two rules. Uh, but the truth is, depending on how you organize the rules, the rules of capitalization may be many or few. But I'm just going to bring a few to you, the, what, the most important ones. And the important one is that the first letter in a sentence should always be capitalized like that you see here always capitalize the first letter of a sentence like here it's always capitalized and it's important that you do that because if you do, if you do not it's grammatically wrong and uh, you will lose points for it but not only that if you send a letter uh, cover letter or, or if you do your resume and you don't do it correctly, they will pick up on those things and probably bypass uh, your work, which you may have put in very lot of time. The second most important one is the pronoun I. I noticed a couple of people made that a small I and it's not just this group. Each group that I've always had, they always make it a, a small I. Uh, it is necessary that you use a capital I always. Uh, some other pronouns, an I is a pronoun, some other pronouns, you don't have to capitalize. But remember always uh, to capitalize an I. A couple of rules uh, that you can remember. I'm not going to go over this whole sheet, but I thought it was important that we, we touched it. You can ask yourself, it, and when you start writing, you say, is this the first letter in the sentence? If it is, you know that you capitalize it. Then you'll ask the other question, is this the pronoun I? If it is, then you capitalize it. Am I using the name that someone gave to this thing or person? If yes, capitalize. Okay, I got put a little jiggle here that you can look at to help you to remember when you should look at a capitalization the first letter in the sentence buildings and other man-made structures borders such as re uh, regions states and counties countries they should all have capital letters titles of people schools water mountain and streets these other things you can read for yourself uh, it, it'd be good if you read it, go over it, because you're going to have uh, a lot of stuff with commas in it. 
We will be looking at your writing. Uh, it is important that your spelling is correct as well as your grammar. Uh, and if you, you, most of you, many of you say you want your GED, well, the GEDs have changed somewhat and you have to do more writing. So you want to learn how to use the uh, grammar, the English correctly, when you should use punctuation and when you shouldn't. Uh, you'll be having those uh, learning activities along the way but you can be thinking and you can go out on the web and check things out for yourself uh, your independent uh, studiers uh, learners and m make yourself learn and uh, not just what we've given you here with the assignments but you go out and investigate um, reading and writing and how you can improve and do better. It'd be good you do exceptional in this course, but if you do well in this course, you're going to do well in other courses and even on jobs. Uh, so this is just a little tidbit to help you get started. Um, your cover letter, you have to look at uh, job uh, descriptions, and things like that and then you have to analyze it and write it so it's important how you write just don't rush and do it take your time uh, that's the reason why you did that assignment um, last week is to get you familiarized with the system so it will be a little difficult but you'll be able to get it and if you're having problems with something let me know uh, so I have to talk to you on the telephone I can do that I can always send a um, video to help to make it better and uh, we're gonna have at least two days a week where I will be in the conference room online um, I'm looking at uh, when people can be there so I should uh, make that announcement tomorrow evening uh, what days we will uh, that it'll be open that if you need be you can come by and let uh, let us know uh, what your needs are or just how you're making out the first one be a get to know uh, meeting and after that we'll have specific uh, topics for what we have a conference Goodbye.